Okay, first and all lens. Um, I'm doing a modification on the Wasp Zapper. Uh, a few people ask me how I made it. Okay, let's have a look at the original part first. I've blinked uh, the gel off because I'm uh, setting it up for a TV zap. But basically, uh, I've got some wooden supports in here and every second bar is on a different rail. So I've got five bars sticking out. There's a copper strip underneath this wooden block and the same on the other side. So basically one bar is live, the other one is zero, the other one is live, the other one is zero or plus five six, minus five six kV and it works quite well. Uh, the, the neon indicator is uh, connected up with uh, two 10 meg resistors across so that gives me an indication that the HV is on. But I've blanked this off for now and so I might as well use the same box. I'm gonna make a zapper a single bar horizontal that may give me less uh, interpolation on the screen and I'm gonna hook this up to a TV set see if that works so yeah and uh, red LEDs in series a TV flyback transformer only yields about 10 milliampere or 20 milliampere so it should hopefully not pop the LED so we'll see how, what happens well I've really agitated the wasp now I uh, put a new device on here and they're flying around quite violently Hey, an important thing, uh, yesterday one of my YouTube friends from the Netherlands came over, Mermaid Killer is his name. He does chemical experiments. Uh, I'll put a link into his channel, you should have a look at his stuff, it's really good. And we did a, a little, uh, few arcs and sparks at my place as well, and popped a few wasps. So this uh, device here is set up for horizontal popping. But it's, uh, I want to prepare it for the TV, so the gap is bigger. The back is, gap is bigger, so it may not work on 5.6 kV. But if it's 15 kV, it should work from a TV set. Okay, here I have the TV which I used last year uh, for zapping some wasps. Uh, it's a bit wet, so I'm going to put it in the carriage now and let it dry. And prepare it, and hopefully it still works, otherwise I'll need to use another TV. Stand by. And this bloody TV into the garage now. Oh yeah, the wasps are violent. My camera battery is about to run out. Uh, past the tomatoes, past all the other stuff. And let's get into the garage. Well, this TV has been out for a year. Sitting in uh, the weather. Let's see if it still works. I want to use the HV out of this device. Oh, that's all. Oh, I need to reset, that's right. I remember that, yeah, you need to wait till it resets the power supply. Well, I've got the TV connected up to the overhead line. So the ultra cap is split here, goes, uh, the red wire goes into the blue, which is just the active. So the overhead parlance to the WASP device. I'm gonna set it up here and see what happens. This is the WASPinator 15,000, 15 kV. Okay, the TV will shut down on and off, so I'll be plugging it in and out. See what happens. Oh, got away the arcage on the outside. Oh, no one. Where the fuck does that happen? De energized device. I need to change the polarity of the lamp. Goes the other way. Start to rise, all right? 